daddy's yeah. gonna go pick up our son. So yeah, it's not looking good. Keep me in your prayers. It's better than I was expecting. Dude, honestly, everyone needs the dream top in black. This way I'm not a grandma. This is cuter. And then I also got some road. A lemon color with the lace detailing. We got dark chocolate this time. Literally projectile vomited all through the lobby. I go to challenge Yum, I'm so excited. I look like such an egg right now. Rumi's here with me, but we are back home. I am so excited to be home. LA was such a whirlwind. It was so much fun, but I feel like it honestly just feels like a bit of a blur, to be honest, because it just went by so quickly. The first day we had the gifting suite and then Nobu, which was really fun, but it just went by so quickly. The second day we had the main event and none of the White Fox um, girls were telling us who was performing. So we actually didn't know who was performing, but we did get some hints out of them. They told us that it was a male and female artist. They told us that the female artist was bigger than the male artists and also that they had a song together. We ended up finding out that it was Tiger and Megan the Stallion and it was just such a fun night. I actually was quite productive the next day. Me and Lauren and Sophie went out to Rodeo. We got lunch, we got some pickies and then it was all downhill from there because Charles had ordered myself and her a vanilla malt thick shake from Shake Shack and I had that at maybe like 5 p.m. Super random time to be having a thick shake but I feel like when you're in LA all the hours are just pushed back like you wake up at 10 you go to bed at 2 3 a.m. like the day is just pushed back so your 5 p.m. is technically like a 3 p.m. snack vibe. So anyway we had that and I'm thinking this is what it was but we were on our way to our final dinner which was at Catch, by the way, and I love Catch so much. I was so excited. I've been so excited to go to Catch the whole trip. It's sushi. They have the chocolate cake that you, like the smash cake. They have the donuts. Honestly, the food there is so good. I was so excited. And obviously just to like enjoy the last night with everyone as well. But on the way to dinner, I was in the bus and I just felt this wave of nausea come over me. And it was just way more intense than my typical motion sickness because I get really bad motion sickness in vehicles and we'd literally only been on the bus for like five minutes like the bus is um sorry catch is really close to where we were staying and uh, yeah i just felt this wave of nausea come over me we go upstairs everyone's getting pics i do manage to get a few pickies but then i was just like something's not right like something doesn't feel right i thought i'd end up feeling a little bit better once i got off the bus in case it was just motion sickness I ended up vomiting a bit tmi but seven times i came back out tried to enjoy some of dinner but i just had this other wave of nausea come over me again and i was like i'm so sorry guys i'm gonna have to leave so i just ended up telling one of the white fox girls i didn't want to like vocalize it to all 60 people there but yeah i just wasn't feeling 100 percent. and usually i will push through anything like i don't care if i'm sick like i will be there um but yeah, it did not feel good. Got in the cab, got back to the lobby, literally projectile vomited all through the lobby. Like, not lying, like projectile vomiting all through the lobby. It was horrible. I just couldn't hold it in. I'll spare you guys most of the details, but all night long, like every two hours. So I'm fairly certain I had food poisoning because I had all the symptoms. And then the next day I was just so tired and drained. And that day was the day I had planned to film all of my food reviews. Like I wanted to film... Um, going back to Erewhon and like crumble cookies and do all of these really fun TikToks and I'm just I was in no state to do that we literally checked out late and I fell asleep in the lobby basically all day until our flight home so that was a really sad way to end the trip but I had the most incredible time the first two days and I'm really glad that I at least wasn't sick for the transit home because that would have been mortifying like i literally wouldn't have been able to do it but yeah guys i've been through the ringer recently what is happening with me honestly first my finger now this i need to tell you guys what happened at the escalator on the airport as well on the way over i'll tell you guys that later in this vlog i think because otherwise i'll be rambling here for far too long but basically i almost lost my pants to the escalator and yeah that's a little update but i'm really excited to be vlogging this week there's so much happening i am still like i'm trying to give you guys some energy right now but i am still quite tired and just drained from like the lack of food and throwing up so much and just being like really dehydrated and all the things that come with Food poisoning, just being sick, like I had a fever. Everything was wrong, basically. That on top of already being a bit 
tired from you know drinking socializing and travel i'm just feeling a little bit drained but i feel like vlogging will give me the energy that i need to persevere throughout the rest of the week because there is so much on i got back yesterday jake and i celebrated our 12 year anniversary i thought it was our 13 years for some reason i've been telling people 13 but it's 12 because i saw our memories come up yesterday and it was of our 10 years at hayman which was so special we had the nicest time there um and then i was like wait that was in 2021 so that means it's 12 years and we're going into like our 13 year i think that's where i was getting confused but yeah it's been 12 amazing years with jake we just had a really chill day went to the beach went for an ocean swim went to the movies just did all of our favorite things just cuddled hung out had a really nice and relaxing day which was so nice after traveling and he got me my new little prezi you say hi he's in his <laughs> undies <laughs> yeah he's showing my present that he got me it's got my little initial on it little a um so that was really nice and we are back in business today so today we i've actually just gotten ready i'm not doing makeup because i'm sick of doing my makeup so I'm not doing my makeup but we are going to two inspections down towards palm beach area actually ideally we would love to stay in mermaid we love mermaid so much um but i don't know there's just nothing really tickling my fancy at the moment we actually aren't meant to leave until the 19th of december but the 19th of december is basically christmas day and moving at christmas time is not fun at all we could stay here but i just love a change of scenery i do love it here but yeah i just want like a change of scenery heading into the new year we've been here for two it'll be two and a half years so i feel like that's a long amount of time in one place like obviously we've moved apartments and stuff but i feel like it'll be nice for a change of vibes you know so we're gonna go look at two places down that way because i like the actual like apartments and the floor plan so we're gonna do that and then uh, i actually didn't film it this morning but i have been spending so long this morning and i've got to come back and make my way through some more going through the Cali swim photo shoot selects there's 5,000 photos and I only got through a thousand of them this morning so I have 4,000 left to go it's because they're all saved to a Dropbox so as you're going it takes like 10 seconds to 20 seconds to load each image and it's just not a productive way to do selects but it's the only way I have currently. I'll do that when I get home. Um, Alana's also due to have her baby. My little niece is on the way. I'm so glad she didn't have her while I was gone. So she is due any day now. So there's lots happening, but I'm not going to ramble about it any longer because we'll be here for the whole hour long video. And uh, I'll just chat to you guys as we go. But we're going to go look at these apartments. I'm going to show you guys some of my LA purchases. I actually finally got my hands on the Drunk Elephant bronzing drops. Every single time I've been to America, which is this is my fourth time this year. I've never been able to find it. It's never in stock anywhere online. And they finally had it in stock at the uh, Sephora store on Rodeo. So good. This was the, I think this was actually the last one. So I'm really excited to try that and see how it goes. I also saw this. They have so many cute little like minis. And I feel like you can probably get this in Australia as well. You probably can. But they just have all the little minis. And I thought that was really cute. And then I also got some road delivered to the hotel when i knew that we were staying in la so it was like a week out and then i ordered a heap of stuff to the hotel and i got a few of just the individuals because i know i won't use every single color that comes in the packet so i got some for me some for um my girlfriend and then just like some as presents as well but i'm going to keep i think i'm going to keep like these ones maybe um maybe even one of those actually i really should have ordered more i actually did have one extra as well and then i gave it to someone I gave it to Tammy one of the nights because she was like, she wanted it. And I was like, yeah, sure, here you go. So I did have more, but that's okay. And then I actually also end up buying myself a US Dyson because if you know, you know, you can't use your Dyson in the United States because of the voltage difference. So I figured because I've already been there so many times this year, I may as well just get myself one that i can use in the states because i've been there like if i'd known i was going to be in the states so much this year i would have just gotten this 
at the beginning of the year because honestly it makes doing my hair so much easier so i got one of those and it's so good i love this one because it has the bigger barrel so it just makes doing my hair so much faster compared to the one i've got i've got the first like the first generation one i think and it just takes so much longer than that does so I wonder if I can use like this barrel on my Australian one. That would be so cool. I'm going to show you this one. It is the peptide lip treatment. I already have some stuff on my lips right now, but this applicator is really nice. It feels amazing. This one is unscented. It feels just really glossy and hydrating. I'm actually out for repeating from what I was wearing at the beginning of last week's vlog, but I was shooting that, so I feel like it doesn't really count. And honestly, it's just such a cute little set. I'm obsessed with this. My code should still be active. I think it's Ali 20 at the moment for 20% off, but it's just the perfect summery fit for when you still want to be comfy, but a little bit put together. I love her. How do you like it? <laughs> um, it's better than I was expecting. Yeah. It was like the bathrooms are really nice. Yeah. The kitchen you're in love with. I love the, the kitchen. Bridge. Yeah. Um, the mirrors are really good. <laughs> like the lighting of the mirrors. And then For your selfies. I think it's just a lot more brighter. Yeah. Like open. It's nice like energy I feel. Um, and like I like that beach along there too. Yeah, the beach like, is nice. I feel like it's right a good here. strip of like Palm Beach. You can't say where it's near. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say Grumbin's close, so like, yeah, I'm able you're to, surfing, um, surf and stuff there. So yeah, I think I like it. Yeah, Jake's like hard to please because he doesn't know like what's out there because he doesn't look himself. Yeah. So he is expecting like a two million dollar apartment when he walks into places because he has expensive taste. Yeah, I'm like, oh, this yeah, he's like, oh. and it's stunning. Yeah. No, I like it. Yeah, it's yeah, good. It's he just, just like, wasn't sure if he was ready to move yet either. I feel like we're both in the same boat there though like we're not sure but I feel like I'm ready for a change of scenery yeah I enjoy new spaces yeah sure. and we are just treating ourselves to some down-to-earth could be our new local wouldn't be mad it's about it <laughs> yeah there's no oakberry down here but that just means it's a treat when we do get it Very true. yeah so we're gonna have this now we're actually just gonna share one we've been good and then we're gonna go look at the second place. We got dark chocolate this time. We actually, I didn't vlog it, um, but since the last time I saw you guys here was after the Kylie Swim shoot, and then Jake and I came here that weekend after, and we both got one, but we were so stuffed afterwards, it and so Jake funny. loves his dark chocolate. Yeah. How excited are you for that? I think everyone should convert to Yeah, it's nature's. He always, um, what do you have every day? I have it with every day. dark chocolate and the day. What percentage? Ninety percent dark chocolate with a date on top uh, every day. Top, yeah. It's, it's your favourite, isn't it? Your it's little my shit. treat. I've converted all my friends onto yeah, it. they all come over and they just open up the box of dates and eat dark chocolate <laughs> and dates. A date is <laughs> so, so good. Caramel. Yeah, it just caramel. You heard it here first. So we went to the other inspection and it was actually um, it had already been leased. She leased it that morning and apparently her like email to everyone didn't go out. So. <laughs> I actually feel really bad for her because that's really awkward. But yeah, we really like the first one. So I'm gonna put in an application, see what happens because even if we don't get it, I feel like my biggest thing is always what's meant to be will always be and there'll be a reason for us not moving if we don't get it. So it is what it is. So I'm gonna do that in a moment. The dog's going crazy making heaps of weird noises now that we're home. I'm gonna do that later tonight actually, sorry, because I really need to get through all these Kali Swim images so that I can send the final selects across. But literally it's taken me like, on average it's taking me an hour to an hour and a half to get through a thousand images. So it's gonna take me a while. But the images turned out so good. It's gonna be really hard narrowing it down to 40 images. That's how many I'm allowed to choose. We did it, we just applied. So fingers crossed we have some progress with that one. I'll keep you guys updated anyway. We also were just on a call with our broker because we're looking into getting another investment property. You guys know this has been on the cards for a few years now, but we've been putting all of our money back into the businesses. So we're finally in a position again to hopefully get another property. It's not gonna be anything exciting. I probably won't even show you guys to be honest. It's purely an investment property. 
and we're not going to be living in it or anything like that so yeah i probably won't even show you guys but it's really exciting that we're finally making some progress in that department and that we're in a position to do so finally so everything is happening i'm very very excited about it but um yeah i just need to get back into editing sorry not editing going through all of these photos because i got a little bit nervous and uh, didn't start going through the photo because we had that phone call and then i wanted to send in this application right away while it was on my mind so i just did that it honestly takes so long applying for things but i'm finally going to sit down and go through all the images which is not all of them i'm not going to get through them all tonight but start going through them at least takes so long honestly these photos of ava are stunning look at her she's just gorgeous this honestly looks like baby food but it is so good i am obsessed with this pumpkin soup it's honestly probably the best thing i've ever made in my life i've made it a few times now and every single time i make it i'm like why do i not make it more honestly the main reason is because it actually takes so long cutting up all the pumpkin but it's well worth it every single time it tastes so delicious it's literally just pumpkin this is two halves of a pumpkin and then uh, i roast it in the oven for like 40 45 minutes just with some minced garlic salt and pepper and then i blend that all up with some like a whole can of coconut cream add in a heap of cumin powder curry powder salt and pepper and chili flakes and it's the best thing you'll literally ever taste it is so incredible and it's literally only like basically two ingredients so good for you so healthy i use organic pumpkin i use organic coconut milk sorry coconut cream and it's honestly so delicious the cumin and curry powder is what absolutely makes it so good and i also love to have this with some organic beef sausages as well it just tastes really yummy so if you want some extra protein i'd recommend doing that as well it doesn't look very cute so i'm not going to show you guys that but i'm going to cook up some sausages and have that with this and it's honestly so yummy you guys have to try making it it's so easy as well aside from the cutting up of the pumpkin it's so easy good morning i'm so excited because this morning is the hot heat workout at neighborhood and honestly it's become my favorite workout every single time i struggle also i realized as i've been filming the past few times i've gone the first session that i went to they had really good music and then the last few sessions have been like not my vibe like still okay music but just not my vibe at all so if you've been hearing it in the background of my videos being like didn't Ali say this is good i mean it's probably good to some of you but it's just not my vibe um i just thought i'd quickly touch on that because the first time was like so different but anyway still amazing love the trainer millie she's a weapon and i'm just really excited to get my sweat on i feel like i just always feel so good afterwards boost my energy levels and it's a great way to start my day so gonna go there now we just walk the doggies as well we like to walk them before working out this is this morning's workout fit i'm just wearing all csb of course i'm obsessed with this little white crop it's so cute the only thing is it was too like the straps were too long so i had to get it altered so the straps are shorter because otherwise yeah it just didn't fit it kept falling down and then these tights are part of the i think the izzy made this collection they're really cute they're just a really gorgeous sky blue color they look sort of sheer on camera right now like they are light but they're not see-through I really like them and then just my gray new balance and I'm ready to sweat. Not to your calf there, so big reach, take your back off the mat. Make those challenging. Then we have cuts you on this. So I finished my last book. I can't even remember what it was. I feel like it was 
I'm trying to remember. Oh, apples never fall far from the tree and it was really good. And I'm onto Slammed. This is part of a series, which I actually have never read. I thought I had, but I haven't. Um, and so far I'm really liking it. It's really good. It's about a girl and she like can't be with the guy she likes basically. That's all I'll say, but I'm just gonna have a little sauna moment now and do some reading. I'm looking like a completely different person to how I was a few hours ago. I have a full glam face done and I'm ready to shoot some content today. The weather is looking amazing, which I'm really happy about because it makes it just so much easier to get really nice content when the weather's good, obviously, because everything's a lot brighter and fresher. So that's amazing. I also took my extensions out on the last day of LA. Tiles took them out for me so she can add that to her resume now. And it's just so good having no hair extensions in for a little bit. I have a very exciting few weeks in my personal life coming up. So my hair and styling it is the last of my worries. And I also want to use the K18 that I got from Edwards & Co a few weeks ago. And and it just wasn't like really the vibe when I had my extensions in because you only use like a couple pumps and a couple pumps don't go a very long way with all of that hair in my head. So I was like, I'm just going to wait to use it when my extensions are out. So I'm going to start using that this week, I think, now that my extensions are out because a little bit will go a lot further now that they are out. But I really enjoyed having them in actually. It was really fun styling my hair lots and I feel like I just really hacked my Dyson, which I'm so happy about. So that's amazing. But yeah, I'm also really excited to have no extensions in obviously baby girls due jake's birthday is coming up we're going to noosa the weather is warming up so there is lots of beach swims on the agenda as well so i'm just excited to have no extensions in for a little bit and just rock the sleek bun but yeah lots of content to be shot today i have this activewear set to shoot it's actually so cute when i first got it in the package i was thinking this looks like it's designed for an infant because the material stretches lots it like molds to your body but look at this crop it's just doing things to my boobs it is amazing it's such a nice material so i'm shooting this and then a few other looks afterwards as well and then i think i'm gonna get my toes done as well because they are due to be done and the nails are just staying the same for a little bit longer my pinky is doing so well she's growing back she looks like a little alien but it's happening now so that's good and yeah i'm just going to finish packing everything i need to shoot today and then i'll check in with you guys as we go along but this morning's workout was really good it was such a good workout i'm always like so excited and then i get there and then i'm scared the reality starts to set in of the workout i'm about to complete and then i just have this wave of panic i'm like wait this is actually really hard why do i think this is fun but then afterwards i just feel so good i feel on top of the world and amazing so it's always worth it i'm just like manifesting positive vibes for this apartment because the more i think about it the more i want it like i want it so badly you guys so I'm like really hoping we get in. I was doing my morning mantras this morning, morning manifestation. So hopefully by the time this video goes live, I have some really exciting news for you guys. This is the crop in the crop and mirror, this lighting, so nice. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit longer than I'm used to. I'm usually used to a fully crop situation. Also, how stunning is the weather today? so nice if we do move i will miss this gym it's stunning i'm all wrapped with my shooting that was actually so much easier than i was expecting we smashed it out it always takes so much less time when my hair sleeked up which i love and it's so windy today as well so thank god i have my hair in a sleep bun because my hair would have just been going absolutely everywhere if it was down but yeah, I'm really glad that's all done. I have just gone change into my swim because I'm going to go down to the pool and tan for a little bit while the sun is out. And then after that, I think I'll go to the shops, get my toes done so I can continue looking through all of the images for the final selects from the shoot. I've narrowed it down to 800, so I need to get that down to 40. Wish me luck. And then I also need to edit all of the content that I shot today and then send all of that across for approval to all of the brands as well. That's what's on the agenda for this afternoon. I'm going to show you guys my swim. So these are our desire bottoms these ones are just a restock we've had these for ages and then this is our new top the virtue top 
it's basically we're restocking this instead of our support top it's similar vibes very supportive so this one I'm just wearing in a size small and the extra small does fit a little bit more like they both fit me really well but the extra small just is a little bit more like less coverage which I really like I feel like it looks really hot on this one is more coverage but it's the only one I had handy I need to get myself a size extra small in the white but yeah it's super cute I'm obsessed with her just the fit is everything I love that the straps sit nice and wide out on the side so it just creates a really flattering shape I'm obsessed with this style well both of them but yeah I'm excited to have some new swim on the website and that's the back as well so we have adjustable straps at the top across the shoulders and then also across the back as well tanning it was so windy down there I was gonna like film and it just wasn't working out because it's so windy but I'm just gonna make myself a busy gal shake I'm gonna make it into a smoothie though I'm just gonna have the shake mixture and then some frozen banana as well so yeah but I'm just trying to decide which one I want because I love the chocolate and I haven't tried the cookies and cream yet because I love the chocolate so much and I'm really craving the chocolate it's really good but Part of me is like, you should try the cookies and cream, but I just really like the chocolate, so. I think I'm just gonna go the chocolate. Honestly, I'm in the mood for it. My body wants it, so we're gonna go the chocolate. I'll have to save the cookies and cream yet again for another day. Seriously, so yum. My code is always active for Naked Harvest. It's just Ali, I think. Either Ali or Ali15. I'll leave it in the description. It's always written there anyway for 15% off. Um, this isn't sponsored, this video, but I am an affiliate with them and I just love their products. Honestly, it's so delicious. You guys have to try this. When I tried it for the first time a few weeks ago, I was literally shook. I took some packets away with me while I was overseas as well and they were so handy for when I was on the go. Seriously, so good. I wish I could explain how it tastes, but I don't know what it tastes like. It's just really yummy. It almost tastes like this sounds a bit rogue and I feel like I'm not really doing it justice, but it almost tastes like like the consistency almost like this is gonna make it sound bad, but I promise it's yummy. It tastes like mixed up wheat bix in a way, like sort of I don't know. What are wheat bix made out of? Wheat? But it kinda tastes like that, but chocolatey and sweet. It's hard to explain, but it's really good. I promise. Thought I'd give you guys a quick little OOTD if this one's to focus. There we go. Just wearing this really cute little crop from Princess Polly that I recently got. It's like a lemon color with the lace detailing. It's so cute. Just also have on my white fox jeans, sambas, and then my anthropology bag in the black. Technically, I should probably be wearing slides because I'm getting my toes done, but I feel like the sambas just suit the vibe better, so suit the fit better. So I'm going to sacrifice the slides for that purpose. But we're going to go and get the tootsies done. I love this shirt, it's so cute. I couldn't get an appointment until five, so I'm just in glasses trying a few things on. I thought this little vest set was cute. That's a skirt though, so I don't know how I feel about the skirt. And then the white's like a short set, and I thought these were kind of cute. But I don't know, it's giving. Pajamas. Okay, these are definitely giving pajamas, but I feel like I would wear them as pajamas. This is cute, but I'm just not a skirt girly. But the um, vest is really nice fitting. Okay, this is cute though. The fit, so nice. I think we're gonna get this set. It fits really cute. That was so sweet. There was two of the staff members from Glassons. Um, you're both so lovely if you watch my vlogs. Just said that they followed me and yeah we just had a little chat but it was just so nice how polite they were and just they were really sweet so that was really sweet we made my afternoon it's honestly so dangerous that i couldn't get in straight away because i should be saving money and instead i'm going broke looking through all the shops while i wait for my appointment all well, the christmas stuff is starting to come out and it's getting me so excited for christmas but look how cute all of this stuff is i'm obsessed the setup is so cute and then over here as well I just love summer vibes, summer energy. 
We even have cute little cups, drink bottles. Stop, I'm obsessed. I love this blue and white situation. It's stunning. And this is so cute. I love it. Just in MAC and look how gorgeous this little kit is. How pretty these colors are. This red, it's like a satin finish. Like that is stunning. And then this one too is really cute. Just like a really nice nude tone. Just got home, got my toes done, so they're looking all cute. And I also managed to get all the selects done and sorted and sent across to the photographer for the Cali swim shoot. So I narrowed it down to 40 images. So I'm really excited to get all those edited and sent back so that I can do the website and just have everything looking all pretty. I can also then start posting all the images to all the socials, do some stories and everything as well. So I'm really excited that that's done. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see the final edits as well because obviously the images always end up looking so incredible compared to the raw images. So I'm really excited for that. And I actually also have another shoot planned for Sunday as well. So I'm hoping Alana doesn't go into labor on Sunday because I'm really excited for this shoot. I just want some extra content before we have our launch next week. So by the time this video goes live, this video should be going live on Monday. I've been trying to do Monday night uploads. My vlog that just went live this week actually went live on Tuesday night, which was a little bit annoying, but I had to wait for approval from the brand, which was a little bit delayed. So yeah, that's why the most recent vlog was delayed, but it should always be going live on a Monday evening, unless I am waiting on approval from someone. But yeah, really, really exciting. So yeah, this will be live on Sunday and then the launch will be, sorry, on Monday and then the launch will be uh, on the following, like the upcoming Thursday. So it will be really, really soon. I'm really excited for you guys to get your hands on everything. And what else was I going to say to you guys? Um, I can't remember. I got home and was starving, so I just finished eating my pumpkin soup. And I just wanted to say as well, I feel really bad when I don't vlog any really exciting meals throughout the week, when I'm just being really boring and eating the same thing. So I'm sorry that this vlog doesn't include any cooking. You guys know I love to cook and I know you guys love watching me cook as well or finding inspiration from my videos. So hopefully I get around to cooking this weekend for you. I'm just going to continue getting some work done. I just need to edit the content from today and then send it all across for approval to all the brands and that's what's in the agenda for tonight. So nothing too exciting, just another night of work. I just want to make sure all my work is done as soon as I, like as I'm going this week because if Alana does go into labor, I need to be like, at the ready, you know? I'll also quickly show you guys what I got from Glassons. I ended up getting the white set that I showed you guys, just the little short set and then the little vest. I just feel like this will be so perfect for summer. It's super cute and the fit of it's really nice. Also just got the like pajama vibe <laughs> pants. I don't know, I just love anything blue and pinstriped at the moment. And then I also spotted these. I actually have these in the gray. They're just straight leg sweatpants and I know we're going out of winter. It's definitely not winter anymore, but I just love the cut of these so i just got these so that i have them for next year at least just in a size small so they're a size up so they're baggier and yeah that's all i got i'm so sad you guys i just got a text message from it's actually the assistant to the realtor that's managing the property that we went and looked at yesterday and because i know him from change he used to work at change and he said that it's looking like the owner is gonna say no because we have pets which makes me really really sad because i really wanted it like i've been just imagining myself there so i'm in a really sad mood right now i'm trying to like laugh it off and be like it's fine but it's not fine because now i just love this apartment so yeah it's not looking good keep me in your prayers and uh, i will give you guys an update if we actually end up getting it obviously but i'm really sad are you excited or are you scared I can't tell. Good morning! 
I just dropped Romy off at school. I'm really hoping he enjoys himself today because the last time Jake brought him, he really didn't enjoy himself and he was only there for 30 minutes before they both came back home. So I obviously want him to have a nice time while he's there and if he's not enjoying himself, I'm not gonna continue bringing him, but I really want him to have fun and socialize and be with the other dogs. So hopefully he has a better experience today. I'm just actually about to head to the warehouse as well, which is literally two minutes away um, because I need to pick up some more Cali swim stock. I'm just getting one of everything and all the new styles in my size so that I have one of everything for myself. And then I think I will also film a big overview of everything once I get back home after this. I also need to grab some stock for a social shoot that I have planned for Sunday as well. So yeah, I'm just going to go into the warehouse now and pick up those things. I also have an, um, an update on the apartment. I'm so sad, but yeah, Cooper basically um, let me know that the owners are thinking of going with or I think they might have already decided on the other applicants because they don't have pets and I honestly am in the five stages of grief right now last night I was in denial then I turned into the angry phase like I was so angry I woke up so angry again this morning I'm currently in phase three which I think is the bargaining phase because I'm like offering more I'm like I really want this apartment now like I wasn't you know when you don't realize how badly you want something until it's taken away from you that's me right now and I'm just like I need it I want it like what can I do to make this other couple or whatever not get the apartment so I'm currently in phase three which is bargaining which is honestly a better headspace than phase two because I was just so angry at the universe last night and this morning so I'm kind of glad I've moved past that for now but yeah we so far doesn't look like we've gotten it and I'm actually so sad now because I'm like I just want it so badly it was perfect aside from the tiles perfect because I really wanted floorboards but yeah it's so stunning Jake's gonna go look at another one in the same building but it just isn't perfect it's got a mirrored splashback which I I really dislike mirrored splashbacks um and it's at the back it doesn't have any ocean views like things like that like it's just not what I was what I was after but he's gonna go look anyway because I do love the kitchen like I love the kitchen like a kitchen is everything for me in an apartment so I can deal with the rest but the kitchen the issue is the splashback so I'm like can I change the splashback because I can't do the mirrored thing like it just gets so dirty so he's gonna go look at that while I'm at the event later but anyway that's the update I'm gonna get to the warehouse now grab this stock and then get home get ready and film this thing for you guys Okay, I'm going to show you guys all of the pieces that we have dropping this Thursday for Cali Swim. Everything is mix and match, so you don't have to select one piece or like one set. You can mix and match everything. Um, I will also leave a link to the website down below for you guys. You can sign up for early access too so that you can access the website early. What will happen if you are signed up to early access or if you are already signed up as well is you will receive an email once the early access goes live and that will have a password in there. You enter the password into the website because the website will be locked enter the password into the website and then you get early access before everyone else and the general public so it'll be i haven't worked it out yet but it'll either be 30 minutes or an hour before everyone else gets access um i don't think anything will really sell out per se because it is just mostly like a restock and very basic styles it's nothing crazy like the contrast collection that sold out in the past but if you do want first dibs in case anything does sell really quickly obviously make sure you are signed up to that early access so that you can get in before everyone else we are launching officially at 6 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time so that is Queensland time if you're in Sydney it will be 7 p.m. and so on if you're unsure about what that time will be for you make sure you just google it um, but then again for early access you will get an email as a reminder before everyone else does and you'll obviously get the password as well so I'm going to get stuck in show you guys all the pieces run you through the different styles so first up we just have this combo I've just sewn together, everything does sort of have its match, like the dream top goes really nicely with the balance bottoms, which I'll show you guys soon, but I'm just going to mix and match everything and show you all of the different combinations so you can sort of see what you want to go for and I'll run you through the pros and cons to each. So we have our dream top, this is our new version, we've always had the dream top but we had a clasp at the back. 
So this one it doesn't have a clasp at the back, it just goes straight across. So you can actually can wear this as a bandeau, which was what I wanted to design it for because I feel like you never just get a plain bandeau to wear underneath things, just to wear with jeans, shorts, whatever, linen pants. It's the perfect top for tanning if you want a straight line, no tan lines, if you're wanting to wear something like a swim top out and about for the day, but you don't want to get any lines. Um, honestly, it's super versatile. There's no logo or branding either, so you can wear it even like to, I don't know, wherever you want to wear it to, you can wear it though. So we have this one in the white, the black, and the chocolate brown color. Um, so not all of the styles we have in all of the colors, but you guys will be able to see that on the website anyway. And the best thing about our dream top as well is that it actually is all, all of our white styles. They are triple the thickness. So you don't need to worry about anything being see-through and it's honestly just the best. So if you do have darker features, you don't need to worry. Nothing's going to show through. It is triple the thickness and it is also made with a really beautiful recycled material as well. It feels super luxurious. Everyone that buys Cali Swim just always compliments the fit and also the fabric. The material is just just so incredible it feels so nice on your skin and it's just the best quality and I'm not just tooting my own horn here you literally put it on and you just feel really luxe and delicious it feels incredible and then I've just paired the dream top with our desire bottom so these bottoms we've had for quite a while like I mentioned earlier in the vlog we've had these ones for ages um, we're just doing a restock on these bottoms only in the white and the black though um, but yeah, they're honestly just the perfect little basic bikini bottom. They're the best for tanning. The fit is amazing. They're one of our best sellers. They always sell so well every single time we have them in stock and they're truly the best. The fit of them is so good. You can reach them right up your butt if you want, or you can just sort of like leave them chilling how I am. Our dream top also has boning down the side as well. So it's not going to roll forward or roll down or anything like that. So it is a little bit more supportive the only thing i would briefly touch on with the dream top is that it does run slightly big ever so slightly so if you are in between sizes like this still fits me perfectly and so does the small um this is the extra small i'm going to show you guys everything in extra small just for reference it does fit me perfectly but if i wanted it to be super tight i would go like an xs s which we don't have um but yeah still fits me perfectly but that's just one little thing that i feel like i would love to know if i was a customer myself just because i like things being really tight and firm next up we have our virtue bikini top and then also our balance bottoms our virtue bikini top is really similar to the muse top that you guys saw me wearing the other day except we have different straps so we have the same sort of ruching and boning underneath but then we have our straps across the shoulders and then also at the back as well so you have the option to adjust it to suit you this top in particular i think will sell really quickly it's been the most asked for in terms of pr send outs and then also when i posted a behind the scenes stories of the shoot the other day so many people were applying to this top specifically so i feel like this one's gonna sell really well it's just a really cute little thin dainty top that still has support which i really love and then these bottoms here are our new high-waisted bottoms and they are perfection Again, don't mean to shoot my own horn, but the fit of these is so nice. You guys love having a high-waisted option, and these are honestly so perfect. Our old, what were our old ones called? I think they were called the Energy, which we still do have a few left of in stock online, but these are sort of like our updated version of the Energy Bottoms. They're high-waisted, and the back of them is so nice, so we just have a higher cheeky cut, and it's just super flattering. Honestly, the fit of these is so perfect, and I'm just obsessed with them so if you are a high-waisted girly i would definitely recommend getting your hands on these because they are honestly just the perfect high-waisted bikini bottom but they still have a cheeky butt they make your butt look amazing and they're just perfect i'm obsessed with them i also forgot to mention that the virtue top we only have in black and white and same with the desire bottoms everything else is in black white and chocolate so these styles are in both the or all sorry the white black and chocolate so this here is our muse top that i was wearing the other day super pretty style this one here is basically our updated version of our support top so we used to have our support top which was another bestseller and it was just really supportive you have your adjustable strap so we thought we'd just bring back Instead of doing just a complete restock of that, we just thought we'd do a restock of a supportive style in something new. So we have this one here and I'm honestly so in love with her. The fit is so nice. So we have the wide straps out to the side, which I just feel like is so flattering. 
it's really comfortable and then we also just have the adjustable straps across the shoulders and across the back as well so you have three different settings there that you can choose from and then we've just brought back our intuition bottoms which we've had for quite a while now as well and they're another bestseller they honestly are just the most flattering bikini bottoms they just look so amazing on everyone and yeah everyone's obsessed with them i love them so much they're definitely the bikini bottoms that i reach for the most both these and the desire bottoms at the moment are definitely my go-to i'm just obsessed with both of these styles they are so comfortable and they're just fit really nicely you feel really good in them and they're just really cute as well i'm obsessed with the black honestly the black is so stunning so all that black is only double lined not triple lined but it's black so it's not see-through and it's again the recycled fabric it's so beautiful and luxe and just delicious i'm obsessed with it i love this combo together as well i just think it looks so cute honestly everyone needs the dream top in black in their swim wardrobe it is just pure perfection the fit of it is so nice and like i said before you can wear it with everything i feel like black is just so chic and it's just really wearable and i just love this combo together so much so we obviously have the dream top in black and then we also just have the intuition bottoms in black and i love how these two look together so cute and just really chic really sexy and i don't know about you guys but whenever i'm at home specifically i feel like i reach for black so much and then when i'm on holidays i reach for white a little bit more but i'm definitely like i feel like i reach for black the most it's just such a good staple and yeah you just can't go wrong obsessed with this combo together okay this combo is so stunning technically if you were to buy the swim in a set this would be a set just because you have the thin straps on the top and then also the bottoms which makes it just match a little bit better but you honestly can mix and match everything like i mentioned before everything does go together but i feel like this combo looks amazing together just really chic and sexy and i'm just obsessed with it i love it in the black as well you can do this in the white too if you would like we don't have these styles in the brown unfortunately but i feel like in the black and the white they both look so stunning and i just love this combo it looks so nice this combo is super cute i feel like this is the perfect um mix if you're wanting to feel a little bit more or if you're feeling a little bit more conservative, if you want to be a little bit more covered up because you have a little bit more support with the top, obviously. You have your straps as well. You're really supported in this. You have the high-waisted bottoms. If you're feeling a little bit uncomfortable but you still want to look really cute, then I feel like this is a really good option um, just because you feel, like I said, a little bit more covered. And this will look amazing just with our black um, Cali Sim Sarong just thrown over the top as well. I love this look and honestly the fit of these bottoms just they really speak for themselves lastly we have the chocolate and honestly no matter how many chocolate swim pieces i see come out no one does it like us i feel like our chocolate shade is just is so perfect and it just looks so amazing on every single skin tone every single time i see it on anyone whether it's you guys tagging us in something or on shoot or wherever it is even when I'm putting it on, I'm just like, it's literally just the perfect chocolate color and it just looks so amazing and yeah, it's just honestly the best. So this is another combo that was specifically meant to be a set. So we have the Muse top and then the Intuition bottoms, which both look really cute together just because you have the ruching on both, which I feel like it's really cute. And yeah, I just love this combo together as well of course such a classic and the brown is so nice it's just a little bit different to either your typical black or white which i like and it's feel really nice when you put it on i feel like you just feel really just like good you can go to the beach with your friends and you just feel amazing in this chocolate shade it's so gorgeous this is the last combo that i have to show you guys so we have the dream top and then the balanced bottoms and honestly this combo is so gorgeous as well i love how both of these look together this is the final set that's like intended as a set again mix and match anything you want but if you do want it as like a set then this sort of works really cute together i think and i just love the fit of these bottoms i know i've already said it a million times but they're just so good and this chocolate shade is everything again love the tube top but if you do want it to be a little bit firmer i would definitely recommend potentially sizing down if you're in between sizes anyway this is all in a size extra small but i do fit the smalls and everything as well so it is like quite give or take i would say and all of the tops do have not this one obviously but the other two you can adjust as well anyway yeah i'm obsessed with all these pieces i'm so excited for you guys to finally get your hands on everything make sure you are following the cali swim instagram page as well just so you can stay up to date with 
um, any updates obviously but also if you have any questions because I will be posting a Q&A on there as well just so that I can make sure that I'm answering all of your questions and uh, I will probably cover extra things that you may need to know as well also don't forget to sign up to the mailing list and uh, that's pretty much everything that is the update on the Cali Swim a little try on a haul I hope you guys found this helpful let me know if you do purchase anything send me a DM whatever and I just want to say thank you in advance for if you do support on the drop I love you so so much always and I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on some new beautiful swim for the summertime honestly it's just there's no better feeling than having a fresh pair of bikinis that you're just in love with for the whole summer it's just truly the best and all of our stuff is super versatile really timeless as well it's swim that you'll have in your wardrobe forever every time I go anywhere all my girlfriends are all wearing their Cali swim and it just makes me so happy so yeah I'm really excited for you guys to get your hands on everything I love you and I'll link everything you need to know down below. But I'm gonna stop rambling and start getting ready for the event this afternoon. I have to leave in about 30 minutes for the event. I still don't know what I'm wearing. The theme is noir, I think I'm pronouncing that right. And I know that the collection is a mixture of gold and silver together. So we're getting jewelry at the event. So I don't know if I need to go with jewelry on or not. I think I will go with jewelry on already, but then I'll just swap my jewelry out for the pieces that they have there. Um, so I think that's the plan. I don't know yet what I'm gonna wear, but I'm thinking uh, it's basically I think the theme is like either black or silver vibes And I feel like black is definitely easier. I'm glad it's like really gloomy weather today as well I feel like it definitely fits the vibe um, So yeah, I'm gonna try and work out what to wear and then I'll show you guys when I decide I think I'm just gonna go for like a simple black like bodycon maybe or I do have this really gorgeous like cut out dress from House of CB, but I don't know if that's too extra, I'm not sure. Oh, also, these are the pajamas that I showed you guys in my last haul, the ones from Cotton On, and they are so comfortable. I'm obsessed with them. They are literally the comfiest PJs ever. They're so cute, perfect for summer. I definitely prefer, like I like wearing pants over shorts, so I like that I've got pants and then a singlet rather than pants and a long sleeve. And yeah, so comfy. The material is really nice and light, but really soft. And yeah, I'm obsessed with this little set. It's so cute. Okay, this is one of the options. An option for the dress. And then this has the open back, which is really cute. And then this is like silver accessories. So my heels are just my Tony Bancos and they've got some silver on the buckle there. And then also some silver. This is like a big silver cuff and then a big chunky silver earrings and then a black bag with silver on it. But I don't know, I feel like I want to do gold. So this is one option or one way of styling it. I'll show you guys this dress with gold accessories and then I'll show you some other options. Okay, and then we have option two, which is the same dress, just with gold accessories instead. So I just have a gold cuff, gold bracelet, gold little Bottega dupe earrings, black bag, YSL bag with the gold hardware, and then just some plain black heels with no detailing just plain black so that's option number two i think i'm leaning towards this option i'm not gonna bother showing you guys option number three because i feel like the third option is just a bit too extra and it's not my moment so content king oh my god it's ali Orton. sorry embarrassing. you look stunning thank you babes it's nice of you he's gonna drop me off and then what are you doing then I'm going to go look at an apartment for you. Well. And then I'm going to pick up our son. Yes. Our from son's his daycare. From daycare. Hopefully he's having Might a good day. Might get myself day. a coffee. Little Starbies moment. Nah, Zarafas. If you're feeling frisky, Zarafas you reckon? Yeah. And then oh. carry on with my day. What do you get from Starbucks? I'm um, sorry, Zarafas. Just a coffee. Cold brew? Just a iced Americano. Have you broken your shoes in yet? He's been trying to break in these shoes for well, weeks. They still, they still hurt. They hurt you. I'm actually so happy with how this looks. It's very just chic vibes. Loving it. I also think I want to get my fingers after, I should have done it yesterday, but I think I want to get them like shorter and square. I don't know. What do we think? Cute. This dress is so nice. The material is so buttery soft. Jake and I are matching. <laughs> He's just done an outfit change. Come show them. Don't expose me We're both in black. Yeah, you're not just for a picture. <laughs> no, you were wearing that earlier and then now you're getting changed because you're doing something else. 
true. I was just realizing that the theme is black and chrome, I think, and chrome is silver. Not gold, but there is jewelry there, so I'm just gonna put on that once I get there. I've got my silver, I can't talk. I've got my silver jewelry here as well, in case I feel a bit uncomfy and wanna like swap it over. Daddy's to gonna go pick up our son. Yeah. Hopefully he hasn't been bullied today. Yeah, it's home. Hopefully he's had a good day. <laughs> Everyone's excited. What was that? <laughs> My little baby. Dakota literally already has her Euro <laughs> fucking 2024 planned out. If you want to know where she's gonna be. <laughs> That's where! Oh my god, I can't believe you're so organized. You make me sick. Oh my yeah. god. Every time. Every time. What do you do? Oh, so good. So good. I just don't want it to end. Mm -hmm. That was such a cute event. They did such a good job. I'm so excited for them to have their launch tomorrow. This is some of the jewelry that I got. They also had the big gold like pendant as well, which was really pretty. I actually had selected these pieces because I had intended on wearing something else, which these go with a little bit more. But I feel like obviously they're gorgeous, but I feel like the um, other gold pendant would have looked really nice with this dress. Um, but yes, yeah, still so stunning. I'm so excited for them to launch tomorrow. And yeah, it was just a really nice afternoon. It's literally, what time is it, Jake? Uh, 5 50. 5.50. It's 5.50 and the event started at 2.30. So I was there for like three hours and it was just so nice catching up with all the girls. It was just a really nice event. Everyone looks so gorgeous in the all black. And we also got a little goodie bag. So I'll show you guys what I got in there. I also was going to go and get my nails done and fixed up but I might leave that for tomorrow because honestly it's raining outside it's gloomy it's almost six o'clock and I just want to snuggle up in bed with Jake and the dogs so I think that's what we're gonna do and I'll worry about everything else tomorrow but I'll show you guys what we got in the goodie bag because I actually haven't looked yet this is it it has silver and then it just says jazz handmade and then we have a few little goodies in here I think this is perfumes. Yeah, it's Who is Elijah perfumes. Then we also have a GHD Sleek Talker Wet to Sleek Styling Oil. And uh, what else is in here? Oh, that's my reflection. James Cosmetics Eye Mask. Beautiful. Also have JS Health Vitamins. Oh, a Gua Sha. There you go, Jake. You can use that. And Pro Collagen Vitamin Serum, Brighten and Hydrate Vitamin C. I was actually thinking about this this morning that I need a hyaluronic acid, so that is perfect. And then I'm actually really excited about this. It's just a wide tooth comb, which is perfect for brushing out dice and curls. So this is the cutest little gift package. We're so spoiled, it's so generous of the girls. It's so exciting! And I actually have never tried any of the Who Is Elijah perfumes, but everyone raves about them, so I'm excited to try those. I love the sound of rain so much. My favorite part about summer is the rain. What should we watch, Milo? <laughs> You're so sweet. What should we watch? Hmm. Where are my babies? How was school today, Romeo? Was it good? Hmm? Oh my god, yay! Wait, have I seen this? I can't remember. I watched one on the plane, but I can't remember which one. I'm hoping it wasn't this though. Previously on... It's yum. We ordered Bonita Bonita for dinner. What the? So good. Jake didn't know I was ordering this. Right. I spotted it. It looks really yummy. It's like steak. I think it's like a steak quesadilla. Yeah. It looks so yummy. And then we just got our usual, the crispy chicken, and then also the braised beef. But we'd usually also get um, the fish. But sometimes it does taste a little bit fishy. I feel like it's better when it's fresh, like if you're actually eating it from there. Whereas if it's on Uber Eats, it tastes a little bit funny sometimes. So I thought I'd get these to try as well. Or sometimes we get the beef empanadas as well, but they're a bit... Like filling and heavy. Yum, I'm so excited. I love Mexican 
so much. Three. the afternoon I'm sorry I didn't check in at all today I've just been flat stick getting a heap of work done but I've managed to get so much done so I'm very happy about that I'm finally gonna go and get my nails done I'm gonna get them nice and short I think it's also the most bizarre weather yesterday and today it's like full rainy vibes freezing torrential not torrential rain but it's very rainy and just really windy like hurricane vibes Sorry, I feel like this top is going a little bit, it's making like the lighting go a little bit weird. But yeah, I'm wearing this because I'm literally freezing and any excuse to rug up in cute comfy clothes, I will take it. I'm literally wearing this like fleecy um, like jumper and then also just some denim pants and my Uggs, full, full vibes. And I'm going to go get my nails short and square and I'm really excited because I never do short and square. Um, but I feel like since having my nails a bit darker, I feel like it looks so hot when girls have dark short square nails. So I feel like now that I've adjusted to the dark color, because usually I'm just always a neutral girl. I've had neutral nails for like four or five years. It's only like once a year that I'll sway and do red or something like that. So I'm thinking now that they're darker and I'm already like a little bit adapted, I'll get them short and square. And I feel like I'll really like them. I don't know whether I want to do like a deep red, like a whiny red or just do brown again. I'm kind of leaning towards the brown. I feel like the brown is a big vibe. So they want to go do that. Um, I just put on some makeup. Jake and I are going to go have date night tonight. I also need to get some groceries for dinner tomorrow night as well. So going to do that. And I might even do some cooking on Sunday as well with you guys. I feel like this vlog has been really long already. I have been loving the longer vlogs and I know you guys have as well. So that makes me really, really happy. I feel like I've just been like chatting way more. So I'm just like cutting less out, which I feel like I have started to enjoy watching way more over the past few years. I used to love really short, snappy vlogs, but now I just love putting a vlog on while I'm doing my makeup or getting ready for the day and just like hanging out, I guess. So hopefully you guys are still liking the long vlogs if this is too long let me know though um but yeah i'm excited to go get my nails done i always just feel you just feel so good when you get a fresh set of nails honestly it's an immediate booster in your mood <laughs> i just got back home and we're going to date night going to etsu. etsu i'm so excited you went the other week with your friends yeah it's still it's delicious so though good. Um, well, obviously, it's a great it's choice, less. as always. Yeah, so good there. But last time we had the um, like banquet. Yeah, the banquet. So yeah. you didn't have much of a choice. So I didn't get to have. Did like you try the little, um, um, steak ball things? Oh, those are the best. They're so good. It's like the mashed, like deep fried little mashed potato balls with seared steak on top. Oh, also, guys, mm -hmm. my nails. I haven't had nails as short since. COVID, I think it's been a long time. Um, mm -hmm. Did you get those teriyaki salmon as well, or no? 
I mean, actually, we did. Yeah, because you never had it before. Delicious. Yeah, I never had it before either. The best thing I had. It's yeah. really good, hey. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, I never had that yeah, before until I went with Sophia. Ooh. That's my alarm to do my washing. Actually, we put some washing on for tomorrow. <laughs> Wait, can you hold that? So the salmon was good. Hey guys. Yeah, the salmon was probably the best thing I had. It was just like on a little skewer. And yeah. You have a little sauce and you just like teriyaki dip skewer. it. Um, they also had. That, that raw fish, kingfish, that was delicious. Yeah, the kingfish and sashimi. It's not as good as it used to be though. They used um, to have like sliced jalapenos on there. I don't think they do that anymore. Yeah. Do they? Anyway, we actually should go. go. Luckily, it's only five minutes away. And our reservation's in five minutes. But yeah, guys, I'm really loving my short nails. I wonder how long they'll last. Are you going to miss mommy and daddy while we're gone? Are you gonna miss us? I look like a grandma. You are a grandma. I or actually am. Grandma a, cool. I'm a grandma <laughs> at heart. This way I'm not a grandma. This is cuter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Love it. Peace and pout. Well. These are the best if you ever come to Etsy. These are non-negotiable. They're like deep fried little mashed potato balls. on top. I saw this flavor on their Instagram. There's two. There's the triple whammy, Milo Gelato and Tella Fudge. And the hazelnut one, yum. I'm so excited. Break it down. This guy's dead. Just got home and dinner was so nice. We're so full. We also stopped in at Messina afterwards and got some gelato because I have my post no uh, my post notifications turned on for Messina, which is really like dangerous and naughty of me. I need to turn it off because every time I see a new special, I want to go try it. So we went there and got that. It was like a hazelnut one with like hazelnut sponge cake and things like that. And it was so yummy. And then I just got the normal um, like chalk hazelnut that I get as well and it was delish. I'm actually gonna wrap up this vlog now though I was gonna vlog tomorrow and the next day, but I don't think I will because this vlog has gone forever already And I feel like this long this vlog will just be way too long if I vlog Tomorrow and the next day. Yeah, tomorrow I'm heading up the Sunshine Coast to meet up with a few of my girlfriends, which would be really nice. Just have a really wholesome day. We're gonna go for a big walk, get breakfast, um, go for a swim, tan, read, and then get Rice Boy for lunch. And then on Sunday I have the Kelly swim shoot with um, her name's Chantelle actually. She's stunning, and then Topaz as well is doing glam again. So yeah, I have that on Sunday, but you guys already saw the last shoot. Also guys, I feel like Romy's like losing hair. Like he just looks like, oh sorry. <laughs> looks like there's like nothing under there compared to Milo. Like Milo's got a full, full load of hair here. And Romy's is just like really sparse. Do you get what I mean? But I feel like it never used to be like that. See how it's like really bare? I don't know. I don't know if I'm just like only picking up on it now or... If it's always been like that, I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to sign off this video now. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, boys.